Lorenzo's very resistant in learning how to play games. He thinks in tic-tac-toe, when he puts his third X in, that he wins. Oh, yeah. They no matter what row. order. Generally smart kid. Got some postcards here. A couple from Laura B. Hello from Akron, Ohio. Laura Brannigan. Home of Devo and the Black Keys. Paul Newman right there. Woody Guthrie postcard from Laura B. Have you seen Bound for Glory? Yes, I have. Yes, I have too. This postcard kills fascists. Amazing Science Stories from Daily City, California. Kevin, Kristen, and... Zazus. Zazus. I can't read the last name. I'm sorry. Kelly, Kevin, Christian, and G Mouth. <laughs> Love the show. Stay safe. And they've got some drawings on there oh. of all of us. I look like Randy Newman. Craig looks like the Fonz. I do. T Tona oh. looks like Drew Barrymore. And then we've got S Ernesto and Cecil. This is going to be circa summer. 2017. That's when Ernesto was still alive and Cecil was smaller than him. Cecil currently is the biggest cat I've ever seen. No, oh, I'm going to solve this mystery. Figure out who it is. This is from Kevin Christian and Griffith. Okay, we've got some envelopes to open up. This one's from Sean Henry. Why don't you do the honors? This is Michael Lafferty. Oh, I know what's in that. Welcome to the basement, the complete ninth season and unboxing, complete fourth season. So we've got uh, a couple of defiant ones there, huh? masked up. Matt and Craig are on the run and trying to get to the safe haven that is the old of the leather couch. Will they watch movies from Disco Godfather to the mystery of the leaping fish? They're being hunted down by creepy CGI characters and mysterious phone calls from Russia. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> but there ain't no rule says they can't discuss movies and music while on the lawn on the lamb. So they take time to list their top episodes of rappers and rappers. Slim down the White Album and put together a film festival showcase in New York throughout the decades. We got Chatter and Teeth and a Donut Pillow. <laughs> can't do the cover for season 10 yet, but he's going to send that in around the time that season 11 starts. It's going to be the beginning of February next year. I don't know if I'll send in anything else in the meantime. Depends on whether or not I get any ideas. We'll just have to wait and see. Michael Lafferty. Season 9! Yes, take a break, man. Uh, you're, you've are you been doing a lot of hard work. Uh, it's we, I've enjoyed all of these DVD covers that you've made. This is from Sean Henry. Some assembly required. He sent us a little movie. So we have Welshborn Handsome Man, Ray Milland, and his nemesis, the Bat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> guess you could do like a flip book, I guess, or something. I, I, I don't know. You ready for him? Yeah. Here's a safe one to catch. It's Ray. Here's a hard one to catch. Oh, it's a bat! Ray. Oh, it's a bat! When you go to our website, welcometothebasementshow.com, there are all kinds of fun to be had with our episodes. All 225 plus of them. And there are PayPal donation buttons that you can click on to donate to help support our show with a one-time or rolling monthly donation. Rolling monthly donors, I got a list of them right here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Bridget, Liam, Mary Beth, Luke, Austin, Abigail, Mario, Michael, Zach, Benjamin, Kevin, Jason, Nicole, David, Christine, Mara, John, William, Andrea, Robert, Stephanie. We'll hear about the rest of our donors later in the show, but right now... Some viewer questions. T.A. Epley, preferred legume? Didn't we do this one already? I didn't. Oh, you didn't. I already answered this one. You have to go back to the old episodes to find out that I like the peanut the most. Well, you know, it's hard to argue with the peanut. Yeah, I've tried to argue with the peanut. Gee, you just make a fool out of yourself. Well, he's got that cane. He's going to get after you. I like peas quite a bit, but I mostly like them as an ingredient rather than just eating a bowl of peas. And black-eyed peas. I th assume those are beans. Mm -hmm. I just made a black-eyed peas dish really recently, and it was tasty as hell. Was that night a good night? Was it a good, good night? I don't understand what you're referencing. Good. You're not missing out. Going back to the well for this one, Jordan Romaker. What is a project you've imagined undertaking but never actually came to fruition because it was ultimately too ambitious or beyond your means? I have had this idea for years of going back to look at music videos that I found really sexy when I was young and see if they're still sexy now. Because sometimes I'll come upon a Madonna video and I'll be like, hmm, that's it. and they'll be like, this is silly. 
You could do this in an evening. Yeah, I, I probably could. But remember, motivation is key. Really, do people do blogs anymore? Blogs? Like, it would be a blog where I would go, like, I would go through each one and then look back at it and be like, this is what I thought was sexy, and this is why it's not sexy anymore. You didn't mention the blog. Oh, you I didn't. just said go back and watch videos. Oh, no, no. Oh, a no. blog is a whole different yeah, thing. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I, I do this as a blog. Yes. I got this big project due tomorrow for Mr. Kawasaki, and if I don't get it in, he's going to ask me to commit Harry Carey. And then he'll go vroom, 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 and drive away. Shit on me. Morning. Shit on me. I mean, good morning. Dead. Sleep. Now. I'm not just your mother. I'm a funny mother. Would you try and please fill these out? All right, I'll fill them out. I just, I just can't. I can't. Give me a computer. Shit. It's too much for me to handle. Get me Johnny Five. We got an uncorrupted hard drive. In English, please. It's a hard drive that's never gone all the way. It's only done top stuff and Frenching. It's uncorrupted. Yep. Top stuff. <laughs> there, I killed your computer. That was a computer, right? That's what's going on. Hey, we need to go into this dumpster and find some information. All right, hold it right there. All right, you raccoons, I'm sick of you. Oh, it's people. What? What? Flowers for Algernon? Algernon? This is... This is for you. Gunk, 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 and they do what they told ya. Dun, 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 and they do what they told ya. I'm blowing up. It's Kate, Grand Central. That was Play School's My First Pager. <laughs> Let's connect our ports. In our P.O. box, I often get records and music, and I make an attempt to listen to it, and there, here's a couple of them that we both listen to. Yes. Booth and the Bad Angel. This is a collaboration between Tim Booth and Angelo Badalamenti. Tim Booth is the lead singer, I believe, of the British rock band James. This is very good. But this music sounds nothing like this. It's, Not at all. And there's nothing in the music to indicate that Angelo Badalamente is involved. He's worked with David Lynch yeah. on a lot of film scores. The Twin Peaks soundtrack. He does this very dark orchestral work. Mm -hmm. And then he also does like really groovy bass line stuff. Yeah. Neither of those things in it. You said this sounds like a James record. Yes, from what little I know of James. We really enjoyed this. And yeah. We have not listened to Side 2 yet. And maybe I'm so, maybe it looking did forward to that. I'm sorry for interrupting. It did seem as though it was progressing. Maybe by the end of the album, it's all... <laughs> and next up, we've got Spoons, Arias, and Symphonies. This is Canadian music. We listen to this, and I'll be damned if I remember what it sounds like. Normally, I take notes. I didn't do that in this case. Um, judging from these photos... I would guess they sound like Duran Duran. I'm not sure that was the case. <laughs> you can tell what a band sounds like by looking at their hair. I would say that they probably sounded a lot more like Wham. You don't remember? No. Are you sure we listened to that? We did. We definitely did, yeah. There was wine and chat involved. We have more donors. These donors. Neil, Grace, Mary, Adam, Nathan, Scott, Samuel, Clayton, Abraham, Elizabeth, Jennifer, Eric, Ashton, Wilson, Anne, Maura, Amber, Brian, Gill... Harrison, and Paul. Paul says this. Hi guys, just wanted to say how much I appreciate the show. You have really helped to develop the way I think about movies. Yeah, thank you. Also, always love Cartoon June. Have you ever seen Redline? A lovely piece of Japanese animation in the old school style. No, I have not. I haven't seen it. I don't know what he means by old school. Like old school animation or old school Japanese animation. I do not know either. We've only got two packages to open. We haven't been get, getting a lot of packages lately, but uh, we've got two. This is from Ransom, which is either a name or a threat. This is Aaron and Hell's Kitchen, Art Inside. Hello, Matt, Craig, Tona, and the cats. I've been watching the show for a long time, and I wanted to write in, in after seeing your episode on the green slime and listening to your talk about how movies like Aliens 
Dark Star and Armageddon may have been influenced by it. You talked about how an idea can get stuck in your head and come back later to inspire you. I think there is something that can help ideas get stuck like that. The fact that the movie isn't great. I watched the movie The Black Hole a few months ago, and again after watching The Green Slime, and in both movies I saw a handful of cool ideas that the movies fail to satisfyingly execute. As you said about The Green Slime, it has good ideas, but it stagnates in the middle and it lacks tension. With The Black Hole, I thought it was an interesting premise with a great villain, a mad scientist who plans to go through a black hole, but the rest of the movie is filled with the bad effects and flat acting, and it really falls apart about an hour in when the action starts. I really enjoyed The Black Hole despite those problems, and I found that the cool ideas just stuck with me. That might be a big part of finding inspiration, that thought of what a cool idea, too bad this movie just didn't do it right. I'm liking this. I like, yeah. Your show gets me to think about movies in interesting ways. Keep up the good work. That is an interesting way to look at movies. I have heard that some artists do work this way. Um, what's it? Stephen Merrick of the Magnetic Fields. He writes songs while listening to songs he doesn't like and thinking how he would do it better. This is from Aaron in Hell's Kitchen, part two in the Bat series. I, I think this is pretty special. And he's got an envelope for you. Hey, thought you'd like to toss round five of Have They or Haven't They appeared on Welcome to the Basement. Greta Garbo. Nope. Shirley Temple. Nope. Audrey Hepburn. Yes. yes. And she was caught. Elizabeth uh, Taylor. Yes. Suddenly last summer. They want to give me a lobotomy. Kate Hepburn, also suddenly last summer. Vivian Lee, no, but her longtime husband was on the show, Lawrence Olivier, on here twice, I think. Marilyn Monroe, yes. Yes, she has been. The Beatles, yes, most deaf. Twice. Susan Sarandon, nope. You, I like. You, I keep. Thank you for sending in your packages and your postcards. We've had lots of fun today bats and such. Lots of bats. Bats have it hard. If you have a bat in your house, try and be kind. Although, mm -hmm. you also have to realize that the bat is dangerous and could give you life-threatening rabies. <laughs> Good night.